Hello everybody, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, bell notification, the like button, and leave a comment and share this video with a friend or post it on your Facebook, Instagram, whatever site to help share with others because Karen is sharing and I appreciate it. Dr. Juwan, thank you for turning it in. I had a viewer write in and say, you know, Doc, you've done so many videos on supplements, but you've never done one on DHEA, especially in postmenopausal females. And I thought that was a great idea. I don't know why, I don't know why I've never thought about that. So that's why I'm doing this video. Now, when it comes to DHEA, the supplement, I'm gearing it mostly for the postmenopausal female. Because the males, we a lot of our hormones are already in sync with our normally body functions because we have we have testes and those never shut down for females the majority of DHEA is produced in the adrenals however there is some of the part of the DHEA that's produced in the ovaries during the reproductive years but what happens with menopause the ovaries shut down and who takes a job of DHEA and your estrogens your adrenal glands so I want to focus more on the postmenopausal female when it comes to DHEA because it's very beneficial. So what is DHEA? DHEA stands for dihydroepiandrosterone, and that is a steroid hormone precursor. Now what's a steroid hormone precursor? A precursor is basically anything that makes something. For example, so cholesterol, that's a precursor that makes DHEA which that's a precursor for the androgens and estrogen. So why is cholesterol so important, especially to postmenopausal females? Because you need cholesterol to make DHEA, which makes the androgens and the estrogens. And if you're taking a medication that's blocking that, this is where it's going to affect downstream. Now, the thing is, all sex hormones are derived from cholesterol. That's why cholesterol is so important to us. For people who are negating the cholesterol, going downstream, it affects everything, especially the adrenals. And what are the adrenals? The adrenals are what's called the adaptoglands. glands. When we have certain you know, stresses, the adrenals control how our body responds to that. So let's just talk about the postmenopausal female. So the postmenopausal fem female with DHEA, it's made in the adrenal glands. Yes, it was made once in the ovaries, about 10%, but the majority now, are all made in the adrenal glands. And what happens is when you get tired, when you have adrenal failure or adrenal insufficiency, you're making less estrogens and androgens. Androgens are like the male hormones, like the testosterones. So DHEA, that is the main source of all sex hormones that the body makes. All your estrogens, progesterones, and testosterones. Remember, DHEA is produced where? In the adrenal glands. If you have adrenal insufficiency, what's gonna happen? everything is going to go downhill. Just a caveat. So DHEA is a measurement of adrenal function. So if your adrenals are taxed, are decreased, what's going to happen? You're going to have low production of the DHEA. Now DHEA has a subset called DHEA-S and that's produced in the adrenal glands. Now DHEA passes through the blood-brain barrier where DHEA-S does not. So this is why when you're taking a test, testing is done, you have DHEA and DHEs. DHEA is good because it passes the blood-brain barrier. So this is why DHEA, mainly the supplement that affects the brain, where DHEs does not. Okay, so then why would you be deficient in DHEA? DHEA, remember, it's producing the adrenals. So as we get older, inflammation, chronic inflammation, hypothyroid, chronic stress, Chronic stress, what does that produce? Increased cortisol. Now in cortisol and DHEA, they compete because they're made in the adrenal glands. Who takes the lead? Cortisol. Blood sugar dysregulation. This will also help with blood sugar regulation. Medications, opioids, metformin, inhalers, that, that puts a lot of stresses on the adrenal glands, which, which in turn will produce less DHEA. So just one thing that I want to note, Beef, don't go out and just buy DHEA, DHEA as a supplement and start taking it. 
please don't, because you don't know what your levels are. This is a supplement that you need to get your DHA, DHEA and DHES levels checked before you just go out and run and get it and think it's going to work. Because there's a lot of things, if your DHEA is low, there's a lot of things that may be affecting it. And this is why testing is sufficient, because if you are just stressed out and you take DHEA, well, it's going to vamp up your estrogens and your, and your uh, androgens, and that's not good. Benefits. So with adrenal insufficiency, DHEA is made in the adrenal glands, which also makes cortisol, and they compete with each other. They're in direct competition with DHEA. DHEA. So when you're stressed out, when you're chronically stressed out, what's happening, your, your adrenal glands are making more cortisol than DHEA, which bleeds down to your sex hormones. Think about logically, when you're stressed out, you're not thinking about reprodu you know, re reproduction. So when cortisol is high, DHEA goes low. Menopausal hormone replacement therapy, again, with hormonal post-menopausal post hormone replacement therapy, there's a lot of avenues to go. This is why I don't want you to just jump on DHEA without getting tested first. Because DHEA is phenomenal. It supports the muscle, the bone, sexual function, fertility, brain health, immune function, cardiovascular health. So just, to, just don't run out and get this supplement without being tested first. It increases libido. How does it increase libido? DHEA increases the androgens and estrogens. So when it comes to the vaginal area, the vagina and the vulva, that area has its high in estrogen receptors. The vestibule, the opening of the vagina, is high in androgens and estrogen receptors. So by taking DHEA could actually improve your sex life. Okay, brain and cardiovascular health. It boosts work and memory, enhances the mood. What does estrogen do? It boosts memory and enhances the mood. So cardiovascular health. It activates the genes that prevent ca cardiovascular problems. Not only that, diabetes, obesity. The more androgens that you're able to produce, the more testosterone produces increased muscle tone and you'll lose weight and it will stabilize the cortisol, which will help with the thyroid. You're not going to lose weight being stressed out. Okay, so now here's the magic question, doses. What's the dose? What's the dose? My recommendation is always start slow. Start at a low dose, 10 milligrams, and work your way up to 50 milligrams. I like to say tops, 100 milligrams. That's the max dosage. And the duration, the research that I've studied, is about two months on, one month off, because you want to reset those receptors. Don't be on DHA for years without getting off because you want those receptors to be fresh again. Now, how do you know if you're taking too much? What are the side effects? For side effects for females, you have acne, hair loss, headaches, heart arrhythmias, insomnia, because too much DHEA is bad. Because what does that mean? So avoid if you have high estrogens and, and high androgens. Who has that? Females who have PCOS, Cushing's disease, or a brain tumor. If you have those, you are producing too much DHEA. You can, females who have PCOS, you have to stabilize the PCOS first because you're already producing too many estrogens and androgens as is. So I hope that helps. Thank you for the viewer suggestion. I never thought about this. But again, this is for DHEA, the supplement for postmenopausal females. And I always recommend getting tested before you use it. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for watching.